Yeah, just want to make here. Quick look, just uh, have a look at this Achilles tendon. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. It's all swollen through here. Let me see if I can, probably, I don't know if you can pick it through there, but anyhow, it's been giving me hell today. Back on the some anti-inflammatories. Rightio, real quick video here. Now, as I understand it, the bloke sitting up on that daisy is Slim Moroni from the Lange, bro. Now, Slim Moroni is my brother-in-law's father. Um, Johnny Moroni. Um, yeah, so I've known Slim for a lot of years. And Slim is a young man. Loading up a uh, Alice Chalmers, not sure what size, don't know much about Alice Chalmers doses. But if you have a close look at that, you can see that looks like the old back end of a some sort of old truck. And that's been converted into a timber jinker. You can clearly make out the pole, which is running up through here. And I would suspect that that pivots off the front bolster. Now, you can see that they've clearly cut down some logs to make a, uh, um, a float of, of sorts. Just eat some grapes here. Friday afternoon. Imagine trying to do that with OH&S today. But uh, anyhow, that's what, that's, what, that's what you've done when you didn't have the money for a, for a float. Looks like the same machine. Don't know who the bloke is, the old bloke there, but there's Slim there with a beret on, and don't know who the two gentlemen are with the uh, felt hats either. Now, that other one with the um, arch, as I understand it, that was at Conondale, Sunshine Coast Hinterland. Slim logged, cut and logged timber all over the place, same as my dad did up in Mount Me and all that sort of stuff. Now there's Slim as a young man beside the same machine. Now Slim was a, uh, apparently a really good amateur boxer. You can see he's very rangy. The big man, Slim in his heyday would have been 6'2", 6'3". Slim's into his 80s now. Um, real good friend of my dad's. Matter of fact, one of the only people that uh, visited Dad when he was dying. And uh, our family, I know that's John's, our, our, my brother-in-law, but um, our family was very appreciative of that. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to pass that one on. And uh, I've got on well with Slim for a lot of years. Um, always a fairly noisy, noisy voice. And when my son, our son Damien was a young fella, he used to be scared of Slim, just because Slim's voice was so, so um, uh, projecting, I suppose you would say. Just scrolling down through this here, some of my photos. Um, that's a house that the son uh, built. So just have a quick look at that. There's two red belly black snakes. And now I go to, I think that's on the Sunshine Coast. Uh, just bear with me, bear with me. Um, I've just got to find, 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 find Slimbo now. Now this is Slim Moroni now. Uh, that's probably four years ago. He was giving us a uh, rundown on his two-man chainsaw there. Very noisy vehicle. Made a vehicle. So Slimbo, Slim um, used to use those chainsaws and he had about, I think it was about six of them, he donated them to the Timber Getters or the Timber Museum at Peachester along with his Chevrolet Blitz that he'd restored. He used to take around to truck shows. Um, yeah, so he showed me his old den arms and this and that and he, he He'd used them, these things extensively in the late 50s, I would gather, uh, early 60s. Um, he, he gathered, he was a timber cutter and, and snigger and operator, dozer operator and machine operator for many years. 
But uh, yeah, just a local identity at Landsborough. Slim's now into his up well into his 80s. Um, Slim's wife Jeannie passed away about nine months ago, probably. Um, and there's no doubt Slim would be missing her. They were soulmates. But uh, there was Slim this that particular day, and I'm actually going to catch him up with him shortly. I want to have a bit more of a talk, and um, I'll probably video it about his actual history of his in the timber because he operated out a supplied timber to sawmills at Landsborough, where um, my family supplied timber to mainly uh, Tess Brothers Sawmill at Witter. Big old mill, still remnants of it there. But look, I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, just a Slim Moroney, Jean Moroney and family from Landsborough, an identity. And uh, be good to try and find a bit of history on Slim. So it's all not lost, but it's well documented. I've got to go and have a look at the little museum up at Beechester. I'm going to leave it at that. Swano Mick from Swano Mick. He's all have a nice Friday. My Achilles is playing up. I was had another job to do, but I'm flat out walking on it, so I've got to rest it and get into it Monday. Swano Mick out. Have a lovely day.